Hi, this is Senator Lisa Murkowski. I'm sorry that I'm not able to join you in person today, but I want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to spend just a few minutes addressing your conference. First off, let me welcome all of you who've traveled to Alaska for this important event. I'm happy that we're able to share our wonderful state with you. As the ranking member of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, I understand how important the discipline of economics is in developing our world's energy systems. As lawmakers, we must consider the economic impacts of our policy decisions. Who pays and who benefits if we're ever to avoid the, the ever-present danger of unintended consequences? So I do appreciate the participation of hardworking and knowledgeable economists like those of you here today in helping shape the policy debates in Congress. As the global economy has followed a path to recovery, one of the brightest spots has been the growth in our domestic energy production on state and on private lands. After years of listening to critics contend that the United States was running out of oil, domestic production has risen by 30 percent over the past five years. We know that that has created thousands of jobs. It's generated substantial revenues for federal, state, and local treasuries. It's helped us slash our dependence on OPEC imports. According to a recent analysis by the Wall Street Journal, the growth of U.S. production has helped reduce volatility in world oil prices. And while it may be difficult to measure the precise benefit, I do believe that rising U.S. production has reduced, or at the very least, restra restrained prices at the pump for American drivers. But we can't stop here. We must continue to nurture and develop our economy's energy systems in order to meet our growing energy needs. The relationship between industry and government will be central in determining whether we continue to see increases in domestic production. And the federal government holds the keys to so much of our untapped energy resources, areas where access has been difficult. The government's policies will be decisive in determining where Americans get their energy and how much we pay for it. I'm happy that all of you are here to help address this very important question. So let me close by expressing how grateful I am for this chance to speak with all of you. Wish you all the best at the conference and I look forward to working with you as together we plot a course for our nation towards an ever brighter energy future. Thanks so much.